That's better. That's a lot better. Throw it up there where they catch, only they catch it. Motivating and encouraging players is part of what comes with the job for a high school football coach. Snap down, Tremble. Snap down. Back it up, get a little work. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's good. He didn't even know where the ball was. He was on his way before he turned. But off the field, it's the ball coach who needs encouragement. Three, four, keep your elbows back. Right there, five. Beginning last March, Brian head coach Buck James has been working out three times a week at the Fit Factory in West Little Rock. And the results have been tremendous. If we get Buck's body to match his attitude, we're in trouble. I was somewhere in the 340 range, uh, and then I got down to about 262. Uh, and I'm around two, between 265 and 270 right now. The change in coach's lifestyle was the result of an injury he suffered while picking up equipment. I tore my rotator cuff. Doctors, when I went to them, they gave me steroid packs and, and uh, you know, pain relief medicine to try to, to help it. And um, what it did is it shot up my blood pressure, uh, went to about 190 over 120. My uh, sugar was around five, right at 500. The, uh, internal medicine doctor or the, uh, and the spinal doctor, they both said that, you know, if I don't get something done, it's going to be a bad ending. James would then receive a phone call that would soon help turn his health around. Jeff Lawrence called me and said, I can fix you if you'll let me. And, uh, uh, and he said, uh, all I need you is 30 minutes a day, about three days a week. And he said, I can get you healthy. He set me up a diet plan. He set me up a, an exercise regimen and, um, uh, uh, I went to work. Today's Buck's arm day. Got to work on his guns. It's just getting him doing the weight training, you know, is what made that happen. He's just, he's got a lot of muscle. He just has not worked it in so long, and it's made him lose a bunch of fat quick. Coach's weight loss has made an impact on a lot of people around him, including his family who have adopted James's new eating habits. And also, his determination has inspired the players he leads. I started seeing some difference because he was, you know, he was moving all over the field. You got to kind of saw how he was just watching us talking and just uh, making, being a part of the team uh, a whole lot more, even though he already is. Never wore leggings once. I know Ahmad don't have any on. Trader don't have any on. And if River don't have any on, then nobody should have them on. It just told us that it's never too late, you know, to, to work out. And it just, like, inspired us, inspired me in the weight room to, like, push myself harder, especially since he's working, doing the same stuff we're doing. Practice, you know, he'd be drenched in sweat like two years ago. He'd be sweaty all the time. But now it's just like, it'd be so hot outside, you just won't even see a drip of sweat off of him. He got into it. He got, he, like, Got into the weight room, back into the weight room again, and so that was big for our team. They have came up to me and said things like, uh, uh, Coach, you, you really look good. You've uh, you really changed a lot. You know, um, uh, I think it's helped our linemen, you know, because I, I really relate to those guys because I understand what that's like. And, you know, we want them to be big and strong, but, uh, you know, as soon as this is over with, we want them to get back and be healthy guys. Overall, it was a change to not only improve himself, but to also make sure he'll always be there for the people he cares about. Life's too important to right now for my kids and for my wife and family. And uh, there's a lot of people depend on me, uh, you know, from our, from our coaches to our kids. And I know we're all replaceable, but in, at the end of the day, uh, you want to be accountable for your own situation. And that's what, um, that's what I've tried to do. When it's all said and done, don't leave anything for chance. Focus. Make sure that you do what it takes to get there and do what you're supposed to do.